On the 14th of February 2014, the University of Papua New Guinea reported that the general Joshua Rere makes history by being the youngest student to enroll in the Science Foundation year program at the UPNG. The article goes on to say that he attracted the attention of staff and students because of his size and appearance. We shouldn't judge a book by its cover, right? So in 2014, that same year, I was doing my first year at one of the universities in PNG and I did hear a little bit about the news. It was even published on the national newspaper on the 21st of February 2014, as seen on their website. The same article is posted on the UPNG uh, news, fortnightly news. So. The next day, 22nd of February, it was again posted on PNG News and Info FB page, as seen here. However, it didn't quite grab the attention of the general public as yet. The post has only 54 shares and few comments. It was not until Nathan Sapala where I posted on his Facebook page 17 hours ago that this news immediately caught the eyeballs of everyone. It raked about 327 shares as of today, Thursday 24th of February 2022, 966 plus reactions and more than 200 comments. So who is he? Who is Joshua Arere? How did he skip grades? Did he finish his studies at UPNG? Where is he residing and working now? So let's look closely at the life of this genius kid. UPNG Fortnightly News reports that Joshua Rere comes from the Eastern Highlands province. According to John M. Pusa, Joshua's father Stephen Rere has a degree in agriculture. He is an agriculturist by profession, a writer, entrepreneur, consultant and businessman who exports honey overseas. On the other hand, Joshua's mother is a lawyer and principal of Rere Lawyers Law Firm. In 2014, that same year, Joshua's elder sister Stephanie Rere also registered as a first-year student under the Science Foundation program. So how did Joshua skip grades? From my knowledge, I understand that some schools allow students to skip grades well, depending on their academic performance. Did, did Joshua graduate at UPNG? That is mystery at the moment. In fact, Joshua lived a mysterious life. Not many is known about him to date. He is currently residing and working in Australia. Now, there are some people who are saying, so was the birth certificate, his academic results. We need evidence to subst substantiate this news. Well, it's good to fact check and question, but if this news is credible, then we all should be proud of. The government at the time should invest in Joshua and maybe sponsor him to the top universities in the world. Universities like Oxford, Yale, Harvard, etc. Then bring him back into the country and involve him in strategic management level, you know, to spearhead a group. Thanks, guys. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button and let me know what you think about this young genius kid in the comment section below. Cheers guys.